Hello guys, this is Jeffrey from Success with WP or WordPress101.com. Today we'll be talking about how to edit or customize the slider arrows using the slider module in DV. Okay, so here's what we're looking at. Normally this is how a slider module will look. The arrows are here, it's white, and it kind of slides in. And uh, yeah, so what we're looking to do is this. But uh, this is just an example. So what I've done, well, the changes I've made are the the color change so it's now it's red and it's bigger and also it's more inwards towards the content in here and uh, also uh, it doesn't have the hover effect anymore like in here so when you hover you can see that the uh, it's pretty small and also it's white and then it's a bit too uh, outwards uh, and then uh, yeah so uh, let's get to the changing of the color first so first of all that's pretty simple I'm assuming that you already have a page where you've made the uh, slider module. So here, so we're in the uh, front end uh, of the the page. So here, this is slider module. All we have to do to change the color is module settings and then go inside uh, one of these sliders and then design, navigation, and then the arrow custom color here. So what I've done is change it to red and then here. Right, so let's save that. Save that, and then let's wait. And then we can see that uh, this change D the page uh, in here. So let's refresh that, and then here. Okay, so let's move on to the next part. Uh, we're going to change the uh, the arrows, the to make it bigger, and also to uh, maybe if you don't want the hover effect. Uh, we can change that and then also to ma make it move inwards or outwards okay so first of all we go to our module settings again we go to advanced we go to CSS ID and classes and here we're going to add a CSS class to this uh, slider module for this example let's use the slider hyphen one for the CSS class and you can change this to whatever you like just make sure that you change that to the CSS code that we'll be adding later okay so we save changes and then save while we're waiting for that come on and then we press save so while we're waiting for that i have a tutorial here that i made with the css code and this one uh, just targets the desktop version because you can see here the font size is 100 px so pixel if it's a we don't want to uh to uh, have that big of a font uh, size of the arrows in the mo uh, mobile website as well uh, because you know it's uh it's 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 going to look uh, a bit strange if it's that big and also the right here and uh yeah we would want to change that with the mobile version as well but first let's uh let me add this to the to the uh cs at the website first so how do we do that we go to our dashboard we go to db theme customizer tab. For me, I prefer adding the uh, CSS codes to the theme customizer. I actually have another tutorial for that in case you want to see where to add the CSS codes on your WordPress website using the DB theme. All right, so we will go to additional CSS. You can add this code to the top or at the bottom. I prefer to add it at the bottom. We go down here and so we paste. All right, so you can see here uh, just a bit of an introduction with the coding. This one is the media query and it, it targets the uh, it targets the desktop version of the for the website and the slider one here this is the CSS class that we added to the slider module and this is the uh, arrow next so basically what this is is this one so next the uh, the right arrow we go back and then here again so ETPB arrow prev is the previous arrow so the left one and the font size is the size of the arrow so we 100 px so is going to be big and opacity is the uh is a simple way of saying it is so at least the the uh the arrow is the right there already uh it doesn't have to you don't have to hover and then you will you will see it so with, with the opacity being one in here it will immediately show and then the right uh and the left here is just uh showing more uh, like if you want to make the arrows more inwards or outwards and so here for the right is this one and then the left is in here so if you want to make it the the 100px in here 
it will move inwards more so this is how it will look like and then uh so uh yeah so let's save let's publish that first publish publishing and then we can go back to here what we were editing earlier and then we just refresh that and you can see the changes are here so so you can see that uh since i only changed the color of the first uh, slider it's only red on the first one and you can see here it's more inwards now and it's bigger of course and it's already there like if you want this effect that you don't have to hover the mouse first to see the arrows then this will be perfect but Keep in mind that if you are going to have the uh, arrow show right away without having to hover the mouse is you have to add both the opacity and the right or opacity and the left because if you don't let's say for example let's uh, let's remove this so publish that and then we go back to what we were editing earlier here Yep, you can see here, right? You can still see that there's a there's a change. Uh, uh, you can see both arrows, which is I don't, I don't I mean for me I don't I don't I don't I don't find it very uh, clean. So that's why I have to make sure to add the right and the left. So we undo that right and the left in here. And if ever we don't have the opacity for both, this is what it will look like. Publish that. Publish that. And then we go back. And we refresh. All right, and then now we can hover again. But you can see it's more inwards. So, I mean, if you like this effect, do you want to to have the uh, to to have the hover effect? But uh, you want the arrows to be more inwards, and this is perfect for you. But uh, yeah. So, but you know, with the for the sake of this tutorial, let's go back to how we have it. So let's do that, and then publish again, and then uh, yeah. So, now that you've uh, edited the desktop version, you'd want to edit the desktop version as well. But then, for that to work, uh, you because for for mobile mobile devices, when you see a slider module, they already have the uh, they already have the uh, arrows showing right away. You don't have to add these uh, this opacity code. So, what you can only edit with uh, desk uh, mobile version is the the size the size and also the inwards or outwards of the inwards and outwards of the arrows so how do we edit that we just copy this first so we space here and you can see here the min width so we have to change that to max and then max so basically this media query right here uh, targets the mobile version of the uh, for the website so Max here, but we have to make sure that um, we don't add this anymore. So we remove that. And we remove that. So, but then of course we don't want the uh, arrows to be too big, right? So let's change that to maybe 20. And then 20. And also we don't want it to be too inwards, also because for mobile devices it's a small device, so uh, we don't want it to look weird. So put 10. So let's publish that. And so here, let's go back. Let's just refresh that. Right, it's taking a while to load. All right, here. So now let's make that smaller here. So you can see here, it is it is smaller now. It's still red because of the changes that we made earlier. So now it's a bit too small. Maybe you can see this on your mobile device instead of looking at the browser. For me, I find it too small. And it's also, I mean, I think the inward part is a bit okay now. So what we have to do is, we go back in here. Maybe we can make it bigger. And then publish that. And then publish. And then after we, after this publishes, we refresh the page again and then let's make this smaller so now you can see that it is bigger and uh, yeah yeah so
so i think that's about it and you can you can just play around with the with the coding in here and also if you want to target all the uh, sliders then you just have to remove the slider one here because this is the css class we added to that specific slider earlier and so uh yeah so uh this is quite simple for me i wanted to uh, just uh, target a specific slider that's why i added the css class to it but now if you just want uh, to have the change for all the slider modules you can just do this and just press publish so uh yeah i think that should be about it if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment and i'll be happy to help and then also uh, if this video has helped you please do like comment and subscribe and uh that would be all and uh, thank you